make some noise for. He needs no introduction, like I said, but what I found out was he has written two books. And these two books are available on Amazon and Flipkart. And he is one and only Gaspo Grasto. Can we have a round of applause, please? Perfect. I would like to share some secrets. <laughs> Usually, I don't share too many secrets, but people here are so near and dear that I have decided to share this one. But promise me that you will not share this to anybody. <laughs> Even if you tell others, tell them not to share it with somebody else. <laughs> they say you start growing old, when you reach the age of 40, raise your hands, those of you who are above 40. <laughs> well, you are at the right place at the right time. Now, those of you who have not raised your hands, I believe you are young or women hiding their age. <laughs> women, you are not the only ones who wish to stay young. I have a friend who is 52 years old, but every year he celebrates the anniversary of his 21st birthday. <laughs> you see, he wants to stay young. My wife is completely different. She sticks to her words. When we were married, she was 27. Years after marriage, she is still 27. I'm afraid after a few years, our daughter will be older than her mom. Well, we are here today to celebrate Norman's 60th. In this new generation, in, the, in this high-tech world, in this new era, life begins at 60. Now, growing up is a fact of life. But growing old is a must. Like it is a must for man to watch football on TV. You see, there's not much difference between me and Norman. We have been connected through football. I have known Norman ever since he was a star player of CRSC Navali in Goa. He was tall, handsome personality, and a terror in defense. Even today, women find Norman very handsome <laughs> and sexy <laughs> and harmless too. <laughs> My memory about Norman is very sharp. He was good, excellent, and well disciplined. Even today, even though he has a voice like the roar of a lion, I have hardly seen Norman shout at anyone, utter a bad word, <laughs> or get angry. He's one of the most gifted personalities among us Navalkas. Last month, me and Norman were in Qatar, and I was amazed to see that Norman was more popular. It was a global Cohen event. Norman was more popular than even the Cohen celebrities and Bollywood film stars who had attended there. He's very popular, especially on the social media and Facebook, where he makes time to comment only good about others. Among our friend circle, Norman is always there whenever we meet him. Norman, bro, there are no gifts that money can buy, no words that can fully describe the love and affection and happiness that we want to wish you this day and always. May this birthday bring you all the best things that you deserve. I am honored to call you my friend and to be here with these lovely people to celebrate your day. May you be blessed with lots of fun and joy and energy throughout. And may you be surrounded by people who love 
respect and appreciate you. You know the greatest appreciation comes from our own family. For Norman, surely it is his princess and adorable daughter, Marisa. <laughs> For whom her papa is more than anything in this world. Marisa herself has brought pride to the family with her beauty and academics and now status in life. So also wife Cassie. She has beautified Norman's life ever since marriage. She is a charm and glamour in his life and also a live wire among our friend circle. But you know women and wives how they are. I don't know if you have uh, experienced this. When you drink, your wife will shout at you as if she is drunk. <laughs> and women have this stinky, weird, mystic habit of comparing their husbands to somebody else's husbands. <laughs> like sometime back, my wife said to me, you know, the new couple in front of our apartment, the husband is so good. Why can't you be like the husband? I said, what about him? Every morning he kisses his wife before he goes to work. Why can't you do that? I can't do that. I said, just introduce me to the wife and see if I can do it or not. <laughs> Norman has been a good husband and a great Samaritan. He has lived his life with respect and dignity all throughout, right from the time he stepped foot in court. He has worked hard to be what he is today. He has worked hard with dedication and loyalty towards his company Lloyds, a British firm for whom he is a only representative here in Kuwait, which is itself is a great honor for the man. He has also been representing Goa in all the social, cultural and sports activities here in Kuwait. He has been the founder member of our Navi club and he has worked hard for the club for more than 25 years, being the last president of the club before the club was closed down. As we all grow old, and see Norman also growing old. That reminds me, old people on WhatsApp groups, they don't have any etiquettes. They will respond to each and every message. They don't understand the two things. You wake up in the morning and you see 200 plus messages. You don't know what the original message was. Probably pray for sons, divorce or something like that. There are notifications in your pocket all the time. Z, 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 z. I keep getting stimulated nowadays, especially in this area, which is good for me. <laughs> As we all grow old and see Norman enter into a new phase of life, I still see that connection of football in us. Life is like a football game. The pushes, the tackles, the running and jostling comes in the frame of uh, challenges, obstacles, failures, but when you have great people like Norman, they are able to give us a new lease of life by their smiles, by their words and encouragement. That is why, no matter how lost or how broken you are, they are able to piece us together. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at Norman, I see something special in him. I don't know what it is, but I hope the best in him is yet to come. Let me end this toast with some golden words that all of us can take home. William Shakespeare said, I always feel happy. You know why? Because I don't have any expectations from anyone. Expectations hurt. Life is short. So love your life. And live your life for yourself. Keep smiling and be happy. Thank you very much and happy birthday, Norman, once again. We will remember this day for a long, long time. Cheers, everyone.